This is Julian from Julian Tech TM and today I'm at VPC in Simlin Square and I have the whole store. Look, look at that. And guess who I'm working with? VPC actually arranged this whole thing for us to shoot. MSI! Even the table. Look, look. MSI logo also there. Wow. Tech meets aesthetic. Wow. Today we're going to build a PC in the price range of $2,000. You know, we're going to have premium products today. It's based around the 6600 XT as well because the 6600 XT is a great value. But we will give you different options if you choose to, you know, you want to upgrade. I give you alternative parts. Lah. We found a 5600X there. <laughs> We've been using 3600X. No, not even X, 3600. So for the motherboard, we can choose the MSI Mac B550 Tomahawk. Not a hole, uh, not nice. Uh, we must... I wonder what happens if there's actual like customers that come in. They cannot sell anything today. Oh, we can just start with this. Lah, huh? We start with this. I mean, we have the 6600 XT, MSI Gaming X. We will build this first. Lah, huh? We will build this first. 5600X, Ryzen 5. Remember the triangle to triangle, yeah? Put the CPU in. Clap it. Next component, we shall put the SSD to show off my $60 screwdriver. XPG SX8200 Pro, 512GB NVMe SSD. This is Gen 3. If you don't want to buy Gen 4, you can put the money in a better CPU. It's really up to you if you want it, you know? That's the best thing about PC building, right? You get to choose what you want. NVMe SSD installed. RAM. We have the G Scale Trident Z Neon, 2 times 8 GB of 3600 megahertz CL16. Okay. Next, we can put the CPU cooler. Ah, this one. Ah. Alamak, now got hole. That means I put another, <laughs> I put another cooler. <laughs> hole not nice, lah. Must make nice, nice. So I chose to put it this side. I might regret it if it doesn't fit. Guys, don't forget this. Uh, plastic pad for cooling. Okay, I'm gonna do X method. Alright, now we can bring in the case. A MSI case. I have never used a MSI case before. So here I have the MSI MPG Garnier 111R. Mm -hmm. like that. Please fit, please fit. Ah, sweet la. Ooh, okay, nice. Case is good. Motherboard install. Whoop. Chill, man. Ah, so we get this. Get the audio cable to the audio. USB 3. Ooh, ooh. This motherboard have enough, have enough. Yes! This motherboard has USB Type-C. You can transfer up to 1.2 gigabytes. Sweet. Power switch. Second last thing, PSU. We have the MSI MPG A650 GF. 650 watt. It has 10-year warranty. 10 years. Damn. You're so confident to put 10-year warranty. You know it's gotta be good. So this is fully modular. So we can choose the cables. Kablawi. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to put a CPU power. Oh no, it's gonna be so hard to put in. Nice. And for the main event, we have the MSI Gaming X 6600 XT. Kablawi. Voila. Look at this bad boy over here. Okay, Get this in. And there you have it, everyone. I have built a PC in Simlin Square. Literally in Simlin Square. VPC. MSI sponsor. Okay, let's see if all my effort was wasted or was it a successful build in Simlin Square. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't put in the HDMI. I haven't put in the HDMI. Ah. Voila. The screen side. Ah! Success! There are some things that still need to do like cable management, installing windows, installing the games, benchmarking, playing, playing games. Why not, right? So we won't do it here because they're gonna have to work. So we go to a private location. Still in Simlim, still in Simlim. Huh? Yeah.
we're here way too long because I'm done with all the software, Windows, CSGO. In this part of the video, I want to push the, this PC a bit more than my last few 6600 XT videos. So the thing that is interesting about this setup, right, is that the 6600 XT is known to be a 1080p GPU. But this monitor, but this bad boy is 1440p. But here's the thing, I believe I can push the GPU to be a 1440p GPU too. Let's let, I don't know, I never tried before. Let's see how far we can push this GPU. Max settings, CSGO, 1440p on the 6600 XT on dust too. One more thing, the CPU 5600X is known to be super good on CSGO. Oh, look, look at that, look at that, look at that. 250 FPS on dust too. Because this monitor is a 165 Hertz monitor, so it feels very crisp. Uh, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot. Uh, uh. Uh, considering this is the 6600X, ah, almost. This feels really crisp. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Ah, I saw his hand. Got it, one. Oh, 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 oh. Come. Got it, two, two, two. One more, one more. Oh, oh, tunnel, 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 tunnel. Oh. Let's try something more taxing. Huh? Cyberpunk, especially where they have this big update for Cyberpunk, hoping that it will be more optimized. I predict 1440p. To get 60 frames per second, I might need to go to medium settings. No ray tracing, medium settings, 60 FPS. I'm hoping, okay, this is a, a fat hope. Whoa, 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 look at that. With ray tracing on an ultra, you get 17 frames per second. Ooh, look at that. Look at that starter. This is close to slideshow already. Ooh, bang, bang. Right now, the GPU is running at 100% and it's 49 degrees Celsius. That's pretty chill. At ultra, I get 30 frames per second, 25 frames per second. It's tough, man, it's tough. I did predict that medium settings will be good. I'm kind of right. Medium settings, on average, I can get 58 frames per second. Not too bad, not too bad. The texture is a bit potato, not very nice but it's 80 frames per second. Here's the thing, okay? Running 100%, but the GPU temperature is at 49 degrees Celsius. Meaning you can kind of overclock it somewhat, I think. So let's let's try to uh, overclock it a bit. Very nice, I pushed it, I pushed it. It went from 60 frames to 70 frames. Okay, no, actually 65 to 70. But yeah, I'm pushing the GPU a bit by bit. Let me push the VRAM a little bit more. Oh, look at that. Now we are at 75 FPS and we crashed it. But not too bad, we pushed the GPU to a, a good extra 5 frames from 65 to 70 FPS and it was pretty stable then. So final impressions about this PC build, first time using this case, actually first time using an MSI case, I was expecting a lot worse because of YouTubers dissing on MSI cases. But this one is not too bad. I think they kind of learned their lesson with their previous case. Instead of just making it look cool, look sleek, it has to be functional. It has to have enough airflow. As far as cases go, this is really not too bad. And the GPU, the MSI Gaming X 6600 XT is pretty cool. Yeah, 51 degrees to 53 degrees at 100% stock performance, of course. Uh, managed to overclock it to 28 50 megahertz and then it gets to 55 degrees. But yeah, other than that, I want to go back home, compare the performance and uh, give you guys a conclusion. Okay, I'm back home and I did my best to benchmark the MSI powered PC. I only managed to benchmark two games. Cause you know, small team. But we are expanding. We are going to hire new people so that we can do benchmarking, make more videos per week and a lot of exciting things. So subscribe to follow the journey. So as expected, the MSI 6600 XT performed very similar to my previous 6600 XT build. Except for the MSI 6600 XT Gaming X, it performed better in temperatures. And with the Ryzen 5 5600X, games like Valorant and CSGO will have a 10 to 20% improvement compared to the Ryzen 5 3600. You can buy this MSI powered PC from VPC at Simim Square. And the cost of this PC is $2,319. Yeah, it's more expensive than the previous 6600 XT builds because we are using better parts and better cooling. And GPU prices are going up again because of crypto mining.
<sighs> this price is accurate as of the making of this video in September. To save time, you can call them ahead of time to check if prices have dropped or risen. Or if you're super lazy, you can just go on Lazada and buy it from there. Special thanks once again to MSI and VPC for giving me this opportunity to build a PC. A MSI powered PC in Simlim Square. Hope you all stay safe and I am done.